Here we are, Rock Creek Park. Whoa, this place really was messed up by the floods. That's why I require is spending the day here on this mission project. Could there be a more perfect way for us to spend a Saturday here as a choir together, helping our neighbors restore their park and enjoying some great tunes from Max Rocanelli while we're at it? And, of course, he's shooting a new music video. Some people might just be here to carry rocks, but I'm looking for my big shot at stardom. Do you really think Max Rocanelli, one of the world's biggest Christian music stars, is going to pick you for his new video? Why not? I've got the talent. I've got the look. I've got it all working, dog. <laughs> well, kids, we've got to get moving. There's a lot of work to do here, and we have a chance to really make a difference. This is the day the Lord has made, so let's roll up our sleeves and go for it. Take stage. Take stage. Audition, man. It takes some time to warm up. You know, our chance to be a star, we're gonna rock. How about we're gonna move some rocks? I don't think we're here to meet Max, but to help the community. But we wanna jam with the man on his big song, Let's Rock. You're all starstruck. Starstruck, not me. I'm the one, the, I'm the star to be doing the striking on the drums, of course. Drums do. We all do. No, no, actually the star's out front on the microphone. Achoo! Worthington Billingham, could you please aim that nose of yours in another direction? Yeah, you're giving us a nose shower. Sick. So sorry. I forgot to bring my nasal spray. I hope my sinuses clear up before my big audition. Oh no, not you too. Did you say audition? What are you gonna do, play some jazzy nose trumpet? Very funny, Sam. Actually, I was thinking of something much more solid. What are you talking about? I'm going to audition for the part of... The Rock. Worthington, there is no rock. Let's Rock is Max's song. It means let's rock and roll. Hmm. Well, believe me, when Max takes a look at me, he will think rock. I think he'll believe there are rocks in your head. I think that we need to be working on this fence, not worrying about the audition. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm pretty confident in my ability to shine. That's right. I'm not worried at all about staring fame and fortune in the eye. 
You guys are so confused. I'll be the one to grab the spotlight. Lighting all in place, shining in my face. Makeup on my eyes, it makes me wanna cry. See over there, the chair with my name. I'm nothing but fame. I'll never be the same. A star. I'd like to thank the Academy, my manager, of course my fans, and all the little people I stepped over on my rise to fame. Gotta crank it up. It's never enough. Listen to them scream. Living the dream. Autograph hounds always swarming around. You gotta love the sound of the laugh I found. I'm a star. Are you ready to rock? Let me hear you scream. Thank you, Williamsburg! Screaming fans and paparazzi, stardom looks There. What's your name? I'm Ruby. I live right over there in that house. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ruby. I hope you don't mind us all invading Rock Creek Park today. We're the kids' choir from First Church, and we came down to try to help fix up the park after the storm. I heard there was going to be a big group and in the park today and also some music. That's right. A great singer named Max Rocinelli is going to perform later, and he's shooting a new video to raise money for repairing the playground. And a great new town is apparently going to be featured in the video. And that would be, drumroll please, moi. <laughs> Ruby, why don't you hang here with us? I think Max will be here soon, and he's awesome. Well, my mom said since we don't go to your church, I should probably go home. Besides, I'm supposed to be helping my brother work plant some flowers since everything got washed away. Well, Taylor, would you and Connie and Kendra mind going with Ruby and her brother to plant those flowers? You can go over and meet her family and, and help with that, and they could all be done in time to maybe come and listen to Max. Sure, Miss Stone. That sounds great. Bye. See you guys later. Wow, oh wow. I can't believe it. It's Max Rocinelli. You're right. That's him. Just walking into Rock Creek Park like a regular person. Hey kids, what's up? Can I have your autograph? That's cool. What's your name? S Sarah. Sarah, what a cool Thank you so much. You are so cool. Thanks, but remember, all the prayers are Nice to meet you, Candy. Candy, what a sweet name. I'm never washing my hand again. I'm pumped to meet all of you kids. I heard about the great work you're doing here today. You know, God's given us all gifts to use to help other people and to bring him joy. I think that's exactly what we're doing here today. 
And Mr. Rocanelli, sir. No, call me Max. Okay, Max, I think it's awesome that you're shooting a new mu music video here. You know, we're a choir, and some of us have some real musical gifts that I'm sure you want to know about. You bet. I love finding talented singers, guitar players, and drummers. But which do you dig most? Here's the thing. The Bible says we each have different gifts, and also says whatever you do, do it all the glory of God. Excuse me. Easy. Not sure you can do that to glory of God. I'm Worthington Billingham. I'm here to audition for the part of The Rock. Yeah, we're definitely going to rock. Okay, but I want to be the, the Rock. Oh, sorry, Worthy, but there's no rock in the video. Achoo! So sorry. I always sneeze when I'm nervous. Before you make your final decision, please just think about it. There I am, a shiny rock, sing center stage, bright spotlight. How do I know Max wants a singer? He's a guitar player, so he probably loves guitar. If this is my one shot, maybe I'd better play guitar? What was I thinking? Max is one of the greatest guitar players around. He doesn't need me. Ding! I know! I'll be the drummer. Really, how hard can it be? Drumming probably has about as much of a chance as making the video as Worthington's nose trumpet. I know, I'll be the singer. Anybody can sing. Worthy, my man, I'll keep that in mind. But one thing I do know for sure, I'm gonna need some music of hope on this video. Any chance you care to audition? I think we heard you, loud and clear, all of us, the whole world, like the universe. Thanks, Charlie. then I think I got all that not sure I understand it all but um yeah thanks for auditioning Jess That's enough. Please don't hurt yourself or anyone else. Uh, that was some major drumming, man. So, you liked it? Uh... And the guitar playing? Mm, interesting. And the singing? 
that's what that was? Oh my, what was that? Sam, you're not a drummer. And what were you doing up there? Jazz, you don't play guitar. And Charlie, oh dear. Oh, oh, well where are my manners? Um, you must be Mr. Max Racanelli. I'm Miss Stone, and I'm the choir director here at First Church. Um, these are some of my most gifted musicians. So let me get this straight. Sam doesn't really play the drums. Guitar. And Charlie, not a singer, huh? Drums. So that must mean jazz? Never touched a guitar in my life. I'm a singer. So why did you guys swap for the audition? We each thought you'd be looking for something other than what we do. Ah, I see. Big case of, I'm not so comfortable in being me. I've been there. In fact, it was about five years ago I started getting comfortable in my own skin. What do you mean? What you see is what you get. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. But I know God loves me just the way I am. Hey, Worthy, how about passing my guitar case? I think I smell a song coming on. Achoo! Oh, I sneeze. I mean, huh, I see. You keep your Bible in there? Yeah, I keep it in there to remind me why I play and who gave me the ability to play. Let me read you something from Psalms 139, 13. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. God carefully created each one of us exactly the way he wanted to, with abilities, talents, gifts that make us special. He doesn't want us trying to be someone else or something we're not. He wants me to be me and you be you. Miss Stone, give me one good one right in the gut. Go on, give it your best shot. Worthington Billingham, what are you doing? Hmm. 
I wanted everyone to see me for who I am. You know, me be me. This baby's as hard as a rock. It was clearly made to be the rock. Worthington, I don't know what you're talking about, but God didn't create you to be a rock. He gave you some wonderful talents. For example, you are one of the most expressive people in our choir. I love the way you always share with all of us what's inside you. And that's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> we're back already. Miss Stone, you were right. With all of us working together, we had Ruby's flowers planted in no time. We also got to meet Ruby's brother, Robert, and he helped also. My mom couldn't believe that a bunch of kids we don't even know would want to help us. Thanks, guys. Miss Stowe. Stowe, this is quite an operation you have here. Looks to me like you have a real gift for leadership. Well, it isn't me. It's all these great kids. You know, it's way cool when we each do what God has given us to do, and we're together. We're better. It's like Paul described in 1 Corinthians. We're all part of the body of Christ. Each one of us get to have an important role. That's right. If your body were all ears, then how could you see? And if your body were all eyes, well, how could you smell? And if your body were all noses, achoo! <laughs> yeah, Worthington, we've got you loud and clear. So what if I sang... Charlie played the drums and Sam played the guitar together. I can't really play any instruments, but about with a little help from my friends, we can really do a number on this part. Like I said, it's a beautiful thing. I don't think I've ever locked a groove like that before. Uh, it was so sweet. Dilly, 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 wow! I was incredible. I was singing too, didn't you hear me? I heard you. I heard Sam too. In fact, we rocked. What if we hit the road together? Certainly you all noticed. Noticed what, Worthington? Indeed. Major rockage. Oh, rockage. Oh. You guys remember when I pulled out my Bible out of my guitar case? I said I'd keep it in there to remind me who gave me the ability to play. I also remind me why I play. What do you mean? Don't you play because you're awesome at it? Don't you play because you're awesome at it? 
I play because God has given me a musical talent, yeah. I don't play so people will scream and yell for me. Well, I used to in the end. I didn't like how I made it feel. I was afraid I'd mess up. If I messed up, what would they think of me? What happened if they stopped yelling and screaming for me and it made it all about me? And it isn't. But if God gives us gifts and talents, aren't we supposed to show them? That's right. I'm ready for the whole world to see me shine. We're supposed to shine, but we do it to appoint others to Jesus, not ourselves. Like Teo over there. She's using her gifts to serve others, to be a friend, and point people to Jesus. She's not doing it to bring attention to herself, but she's bringing glory to God. Jess, could you read 1 Peter 4.11 from my Bible over there? I keep it at the Birkenberg, right at that spot. Sure, Max. Let's see. It says, If anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Whenever we're rocking on stage in front of a huge crowd, helping somebody carry a rock or two, in everyday stuff like making a new friend, we're showing off the glory of God. Playing games with my friends, all the fun never ends. What happens if I don't win? What comes out of my mouth? Do I pout or do I cry? Or do I smile and say, let's play again? town all of us just standing around I bet she's feeling left out will I invite her in or say no to new friends do I live what Jesus is about I'd like you to meet my new friends, Ruby and Robert. They live right next door to the park. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too, Max. I play in this park almost every day, and there's never been a, quite like, a day quite like this before. It's like a whole new park. Do you know I came to this park five years ago and sat on the bench right over there? Really? 
Yes, I was in the middle of the playground, but I wasn't having fun. In fact, I was pretty bummed. But weren't you already famous five years ago? Sam, I may have been famous, but I also was hopeless. The bigger the cars got, the only I fell. I was starting to learn that all the fame and the pause in the world could not make me happy. Oh, the paparazzi were always hassling you, right? It's not that, Charlie. Remember, we're created to know God, to glorify Him. I didn't know then that my sin was keeping me from Him. God, already on my tour, walked with me that day to this park, and when I told him about how miserable I was, he told me how Jesus changed his life. He told me how Jesus died for my sin, and that giving my life to him was the only way to know God, sitting right there on that bench. Wow, I bet that's why you wanted to help out at this park today, right Max? That's right, Taylor. Everything changed in my life that day, because somebody used their gifts to point, others, point me to Jesus. And if I can use my gifts now to glorify God, point others to him, oh, well, that's what I was made for. Ruby, I'm sure glad I got to meet you today. I thought we were just going to be cleaning, shoveling, and carrying rocks. I didn't know I'd get to make a new friend. Thanks, Taylor. Just like Max said, I felt really lonely too. My mom, Robert, and I moved here a year ago, and I haven't really made any friends. Sometimes I wonder if God has forgotten me. Ruby, Jesus really does love you, and the Bible says that whoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved from their sin and can live, and can live with him forever. Well, I'm afraid I don't know anything about the Bible. We're just learning too, Ruby. Maybe you and Robert could start coming to choir with me. We have a great time. Okay, let's set up right over here. Hurry, people, we're losing our light. All right, the crew is here, everybody. This is my video director, Stephanie Steelberg. Stephanie, this is the choir from First Church and the leader, Miss Stowe. Hello, Max. You weren't kidding, this place looks perfect. Typical small town America. Normal looking people, pretending they like each other. Great casting. Where'd you get the character actors? These aren't character actors, Steph. Uh, 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 aren't you? Okay, maybe one character. <laughs> well, Max, I'd love to shoot a fat with you, but we've got to shoot us a rock video. If you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm thinking we fire up smoke machines, paint everybody's faces purple, Throw in some flying monkeys. Did we rent monkeys? Uh, Steph, you know this is one of those rock videos. We have some hard-working, talented people here who are excited about Jesus, and we just want to capture them on video with my new song, Let's Rock. Hmm. Well, okay, I suppose that could work. No monkeys? No monkeys. All right. But just actual people? Couldn't we spice it up with something? How about I've got it? You're singing, playing your guitar, the kids all around you, and then right in the middle of the frame, suddenly there's a big rock. Yes! <laughs> uh, never mind. Bad no! idea. Well, well, you know, Max, I'm no video director, but Worthington does remind me of something very important that Jesus said. I know. Remember, remember when he rode into Jerusalem and all the people were praising him and he was told to silence them? He said if they keep quiet, the rocks will... Sneeze? No. If, he, if the people keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. You're totally right, Miss Stowe. Worthy. Sorry, dude. We can't have any rocks doing the job we're made for. We've got some praising to do.
Max, we've got all the ca cameras in place. The park looks perfect. Let's shoot this thing. So you said we're scooping out some new talent to feature, right? Did you find anybody? I'm thinking that Sneezing Kid's got some talent. What do you think? Jazz, Charlie, Sam, I'm guessing that maybe you guys came here looking for a big break today. Am I right? Well, uh, the thought may have crossed your mind just a little Max, bit. Max, I'm afraid we were a little starstruck before we met you and heard about your life before you knew Jesus. And before we realized that it's not about me, but about working together to give God glory. And about helping other people and pointing them to Jesus. Just like Taylor has been doing all day while we've been trying to get the spotlight on us. Max, I think Taylor is a real rock star. She should be in your video. I'm glad to hear that from you guys. But Miss Still, let me ask you a question. How many people do you need to grab a choir that really rocks? How many? Well, that's easy. All of them! That's right. The hands, the feet, the ears, the whole body working together, giving all up for Jesus. You guys ready? Woo! Then let's rock. The rock that can't be moved, the Lord of all creation. He is the love, the light, the truth, the hope for every nation. You kids rocked. Thank you so much for that wonderful uh, message about not letting a rock speak in our place to praise the Lord. And uh, they're going to do an encore of work together for us uh, as we get to then uh, bless the Lord with our offering. And so we're going to uh, take our offering. They're going to sing for us to remind us that as we all work together, uh, God's ministry is done. So would the ushers please come forward. Can I pray first? All right. Let's pray. 
Uh, Lord, we thank you for these children and for the gifts that they have given uh, as they offer the, their song, their dance, their acting. Uh, Lord, just to remind us of the message uh, that you are worthy of our praise and we are to do uh, our part, just what you have made us to be, uh, to be ourselves. And so we praise you with the, the gifts we give here and with our lives. Uh, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you all to stand. Um, be sure and join us for our breakfast in the fellowship hall if you'd like to, um, but now receive this benediction. Go from this place uh, with this song in your heart uh, that you might praise the Lord uh, all day long. Go now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>